AWS customers need to exchange data with their business partners at scale. EDI for business to business data exchanges can be complex with many layers of infrastructure to maintain and software to patch and renew every year. Also, these solutions can lack flexibility. In this tech talk, I will introduce you to AWS B2B Data Interchange, a fully managed offering to automate the exchange of EDI-based transactions at cloud scale. Electronic Data Interchange, or EDI, is a process that companies use to exchange data from business to business. By using standardized document formats, customers are able to accelerate exchanging data on scale, and their business partners and customers can reduce the risks of incompatibility and manual processing. While these formats give businesses those key advantages, the formats in which EDI data is structured and stored are not typically easily consumed by modern data pipelines like data lakes. AWS B2B Data Interchange is an easy to use and cost-effective data integration service. It is a fully managed service. That means there's no infrastructure to maintain and no difficult calculations of how to scale to meet your business's needs. B2B Data Interchange can parse, validate, map, and transform industry standard EDI formats like X12 into easily consumed formats like JSON and XML for inclusion in your data pipelines. At its core, B2B Data Interchange offers you the ability to build partnerships with your trading partners. These partnerships include transformers, which transform your inbound EDI data formats into XML and JSON, also allowing customized mapping of that output. B2B Data Interchange logs all of these data transformation activities into Amazon CloudWatch, but also offers visibility into each partnership's activity right in the console. A high-level architecture of B2B Data Interchange offers a glimpse into the type of modern data pipeline customers can enable. A file transfer pipeline such as Managed File Transfer provided by Transfer Family, or really any other application flow that can land data into Amazon S3, kicks off the pipeline. By leveraging a customized event bridge rule, B2B Data Interchange receives the raw EDI document, inspects its compatibility and integrity, and transforms the file to the desired output format. B2B Data Interchange optionally maps the output as it transforms, allowing customized formatting and filtering. These transform files are then written into an S3 output location where they can be picked up by your modern data pipeline automation, such as being loaded into your data lake or imported into your ERP application. Now I'm going to give you a demonstration of AWS B2B Data Interchange so you can see how to transform your EDI in four easy steps. I'll walk through all the configuration steps necessary to create a partnership and transform your EDI data. Then we will explore this pipeline. I'll use AWS Transfer Family Connectors to emulate an inbound AS2 EDI file payload from your business partner which will then be received by an AWS Transfer Family server listening with AS2. From there, the file will be loaded into the incoming S3 location and B2B Data Interchange will map the file to JSON. I'll apply a filter map to this transformation and we will take a look at the resulting file in the output location. From there, we will explore logging and visibility with B2B Data Interchange. There are only four configuration steps to automate your EDI transformation with AWS B2B Data Interchange. First, we'll create a profile to represent our business. And as you can see, we only need some basic information here. We need a name for the profile itself. We need a name for the business. We need a contact email address and we need a phone number. As you can see, B2B Data Interchange is going to create a log stream for each profile so that you can separately see in CloudWatch all of each profile's activities. Now that we've created our profile, we need to create a transformer. 
We'll give our transformer a name as well. And with our transformer, we can support multiple EDI document types. We're going to go ahead and leave the default selected, which is 214. And we're going to leave the default version selected as well, which is 4010. Here I'm going to link to a sample document, and that's going to give me the opportunity to build a map. As we load into step two of our transformer creation, we see our mapping editor. By default, all fields in the file will be mapped into JSON, but you can see here that we have the ability to apply a mapping template. We're going to go ahead and apply a mapping template. And this mapping template is going to zoom the data in and only output the data we need in the resulting file. Once we've created our transformer, we do need to go ahead and set it to active before we proceed to our next step. Now we'll need to create a trading capability to tell our transformer what files to process. Again, we're going to use the default EDI document number and the default version, and we'll select the transformer we created in the previous step. The trading capability tells the transformer what files to process, and it does this in the form of specifying an incoming directory. Additionally, the processed files will need an output directory for B2B data interchange to write the transform data to. AWS B2B data interchange does require a bucket policy to access the files in S3, and you can copy these policies from the console here. I've already applied this policy to my bucket, so I'm going to go ahead and create my capability. Finally, we need to create a partnership that ties it all together. The partnership will need a name and some contact information as well. This represents the partner externally you'll be exchanging EDI files with. You'll also need to select which profile is associated with this partnership. As you can see, you can create multiple profiles as you may be managing EDI for multiple lines of business. Then you select your trading capability to apply to the files in this partnership. I've already got a partnership I previously created and set up to work with AWS Transfer Family to deliver files. I'm going to run a quick simulation so you can see how files get transformed end to end. If we access our partnership, we'll see on the console directly, we are able to see prior activity of any transformed files. Let's go ahead and load in some new data and see what happens. I've configured an AWS Transfer Family connector to use AS2 to send a file. This represents an external partner to your business sending a file to you over AS2, a common protocol used in EDI. I'm going to go into Cloud9 and execute a send file command in order to make that happen. AWS Transfer Family Connectors are able to send files to external AS2 servers. In this case, we're actually sending this file to 
an internal AS2 server that I've got configured here. This AS2 server has a partnership agreement, which specifies a location in S3 to write data. That location in S3 is the input directory for my partnership. So now if I come here into S3, I should see my file. And here is the file that I've just sent available in the inbound directory. If all has gone well, we should see that same file appear in the outbound directory transformed. I'm going to refresh my view of the outbound directory, and we see that we now have a folder created for our partnership. Just want to take you back to the partnership screen. You can see here your trading partner ID. That is part of the format of where we will write the files. Here in our folder, we're going to find our transformed file. As you can see, our transform file only contains the fields that our map told our B2B data interchange transformer to apply to the files. Thank you for taking the time to learn about AWS B2B data interchange. B2B data interchange is a fully managed service from AWS designed to help you transform your EDI workloads into automated data pipelines at scale.